Uh, hey, my people, is it a coincidence that at the same time the chairperson of the economic community of West African states, the president of Nigeria, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, the same time he is in France on a private visit, they don't tell us why you go there, a public figure, president of Nigeria, on a private visit. If you read visit now, a term private, but he's a public figure, the president of Nigeria. The same time he embarked on this journey, now that same time, three states belonging to ECOWAS, three West African states, Niger, Burkina Faso, and Mali, pulled out of ECOWAS. They say they know they do again. And their reason, they say, look, the major reason, I say, ECOWAS has been bought over. Uh -huh. That anyone uh, external influence, foreign influence on ECOWAS. And now why ECOWAS, instead of looking at the reasons, why them now say uh, make military take over for their country? Instead of looking at the reasons, uh -huh, they are imposing sanctions on them. And on another funny part, these countries where military take over. Their people are not revolting. They are not shouting. It was help us. They are not. They are happy. And in the course of this presentation today, I go show you. See, their people. They are happy. But before I dumble into that area of this uh, presentation, I beg, make gonna help me here as a Jazeera Tech reporter because now I they do foreign news. Like say, most of you, when they believe our local news again. If, if, if they give a local, I go say, eh, hey, na fake, na fake. Most of na na foreign news on like. Now why? As I make I give on a desire, as I take touch this one. Ungwa make on help me listen or watch as they take talk. I'm on top a desire. Say these three West African states, they don't come out from Ecowas and they don't have any hope of coming back. Ungwa watch. Ending a 49-year-long union, the announcement was made live and simultaneously on the national televisions of Niger, Burkina Faso, and Mali. The three countries are withdrawing from the West African regional bloc known as ECOWAS, which includes all 16 West African nations. The organization imposed sanctions against the three nations after their militaries took power in a coup in recent years. ECOWAS is calling for a return to civilian rule. The joint decision to leave the Union is an act of defiance by the military juntas in the face of sanctions that limit border movements and the ability to trade, hurting the country's already vulnerable economies. ECOWAS allegedly adopted an irrational and unacceptable stance by imposing sanctions that were illegal, illegitimate, inhumane and irresponsible, in violation of its own statutes. Created in 1975, the Economic Community of West African States was intended to bring closer economic ties, prevent military coups, and protect democracy. Critics now see it as a club for corrupt and aging African leaders, clinging to power out of touch with the aspiration of their young population and influenced by the West. Si notre peuple dit, nous être gouverné par... If our people say we want to be governed by a military man, why are we going to refuse them? Is it ECOWAS that comes to give us food? Does ECOWAS pay our soldiers? And why should it have a say in how we govern ourselves? Last September, the junta leaders of the three nations signed a mutual defense pact they called the Sahel State Alliance. It commits each country to come to the other's defense if their territorial integrity is threatened both from internal and external forces. Many in this region say this is an important issue the West African bloc has failed to address. For the junta leaders, the needs of Mali, Niger and Burkina Faso feels ignored by ECOWAS. It is a relationship they no longer want to be a part of. You hear them? Um, uh -huh. They say ECOWAS did not even ask questions. They carry them, they, they, they carry sanctions, they hammer them anyhow. And that ECOWAS is biased and influenced by foreign influence. Make I put it like that. President is in France. Agafara France, he's the, our president, the chairperson of ECOWAS, is in France. This is the second time he's traveling to France since he was elected. I think so. The first time he jet off a uh, uh, private visit. Second time, private visit. And people are dying home here. That we need his attention to put this around. 
is on private visit of no other place but France. France will be saying these three states now where military don't take over. They know the, they no one use here here France. Any to way consign France for their country, they don't cut them off. See, leave us come out here. We know they do again. Not be as this matter starts. Now we come find out see some countries colonized by France. All these francophone countries. Most of them, their foreign reserve is with the Bank of France. Other people they got their own with World Bank, but their own is with the Bank of France. I think 14 of them. Now waiting these people now, Niger, Burkina Faso, and their Mali. They talk say we not do again. We want to be on. And their people are happy. Now Eko was carrying their head, put inside. Say, hey, hey, come back to democracy. Come back to the democracy has failed them. And now our president say they won't go invade Niger. Do this. Thank God they don't try more because these people they for bombard everywhere. Uh -huh. I tell on say I go show on I say hey, these people. When a military they rule, we be say they suppose they shout, hey, whoa, they want to kill us, whoa. iron fist, they want to use iron hand, kill us. They are happy. They are happy because they are seeing the dividend of that military rule. Themselves, they believe say democracy now wash. Uh -huh. This people now that have taken over their country, they are treating them well, and they 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 are living fine. Unlike when they were in the useless democracy in their various countries help me see what they happen inside one of the capital territories of these three countries why i call for one now we see they know they do anything work on site equals again Ungwa, help me watch this video Nous sommes là ici pour manifester notre joie. Notre joie par rapport à ce que vraiment nous avons constaté. Et vraiment aussi le courage, le courage que notre citoyen, les, les citoyens sont en train de mettre pour vraiment montrer de quoi ils sont capables face à la CDAO. Nous sommes libérés de ce là au diable leurs sanctions et on considère que dorénavant il y aura des accords bilatéraux avec les autres États. Donc c'est fini avec cette structure satanique qui veut étouffer le peuple nigérien ou bien le peuple du Sahel parce qu'ils ont décidé de quitter l'impératrice français, le joug français. You don't see him. Uh -huh. This one, I think, uh, I think, uh, not Niger, that. Uh -huh. You see other people they rejoice, say, "Hey, we are out of Ecowas. We are out of Ecowas. Let us develop. Ecowas is biased. Ecowas is not in our uh, 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 in our own interest." On a sense, they happy. They jubilate. Uh -huh. These people now, are they not supposed to be sad? If things are not going well, they're not supposed to be sad, but look at how they are happy. So, uh, hey, now why did they pull out now? Because if the echo that is supposed to protect their interests is being as if they are being influenced by these other foreign influencers with these three states Mali, Burkina Faso, and the, uh, uh, what the other one? Uh, hey, when I know them, these three countries that they run away from, Nahin, now them now, those foreign influence, now them now, the uh, Tamahog echo was. And they said, no, we cannot be a part of a body that we are running away from somewhere. And that play where they run away from. The echo was that we belong to, they tamahawk them. We cannot be part of it. So therefore, we are moving out and they don't pull out. Eh? Eh? 
I went to make a contact with her. Ona, ona the Emmy. Our president is in France. Eh? All in France. Has this one happened now? In people don't they pull us more smoke from Ecowas? Has it ever happened before that member states we are pulling out of Ecowas? I don't know, but I don't think it has happened before. I come in peace. I go see Ona later. Imagine a country where its citizens get to enjoy the road without this. Imagine a country where unprecedented fuel scarcity does not cause panic at the filling station. That is why Innocent Vehicles has embarked on manufacturing environmental friendly gas powered cars while still offering comfort, luxury and doggedness for the African roads. Innocent Vehicles, the pride of African roads.